Chesser at once imagined himself leading Duke's football team to victory. But instead Surratt will be trying to beat the Blue Devils on Saturday while playing quarterback for their arch rival. The redshirt freshman has taken control of the quarterback competition with LSU graduate transfer Brandon Harris at North Carolina and is expected to make his third straight start for the Tar Heels, 1-2 overall, 0-1 conference, in the 104th renewal of the Duke rivalry in Chapel Hill. Surratt earned Atlantic Coast Conference Rookie of the Week honors after completing 12 of 14 passes for 168 yards and two touchdowns in his first start against Louisville, then passed for 254 yards and accounted for three scores last week as UNC scored its first win of the year at Old Dominion. I think you can tell he's starting to feel more and more comfortable back there. Each snap and each game three UNC's senior receiver Austin Prohl said. Everything is just slowing down for him. He's relaxing and is able to read the field better. Point three, the Tar Heels will need a stellar effort from Surratt to beat the Blue Devils, who have scored impressive power five victories against Northwestern and Baylor on their way to a 3-0 start. It is just the second 3-0 start for a Duke team in the last 20 seasons. Had circumstances played out differently, however, Surratt might have been part of Duke's fast start. The 6'3", 215-pounder was an all-state athlete in football and basketball at East Lincoln High School. As a quarterback on the football field, he set state records for total offense, 16,593, and during one stretch led East Lincoln to 30 consecutive.